Hello, the Walrus Clown here. Today we finally do that top 12 animated crossovers that need to happen list. But first, the rules. A, the crossover needs to be animated or work if it were animated. B, if the crossover already exists in comic book or live action form, I can have it be here with the caveat that the adaptation be animated. And C, there is no particular order. Number one is no more important or wanted more than number 12, etc, etc. Now on to the list. Otter, hit it! Number 12, DC Marvel. I know this might be considered cheating, but I don't care. Both companies need to pull their heads out of their asses and adapt the DC Marvel crossover comic, JLA Avengers, that Linkar reviewed about three years ago into a movie or animated miniseries of some kind. Let's face it, DC needs all the help I can get right now considering that they just can't admit that the 2011 New 52 Universe reboot was stupid and 100% undo it all, and it's literally the only way Disney has left to go bigger after the whole Thanos snap thing. Number 11, all those 80s Rankin Bass action shows. All the action shows that Rankin Bass produced during the 80s, that being the original version of the Thundercats, the Silverhawks, and a lesser known show of a similar formula, the Tiger Sharks, need to have a crossover, not the reboot versions. And don't worry, Thundercats Roar is being saved for episode 100. Anywho, if you thought that I'd do a full episode without saying that word at least once, you were wrong. Anywho, the 80s versions of these characters need to do a crossover reunion movie. They they have already teased something like this in the 2011 reboot of Thundercats, so why the heck not? Number 10, Pokemon crossovers with literally anything. Any crossover with Pokemon could be made to work. Just do a what if Pokemon existed and insert fictional universe here. And the stories pretty much write themselves. What Pokemon would Twilight Sparkle have on her team? How would the Ghostbusters deal with getting calls to deal with human ghost type conflicts? What Pokemon would make up the Megazord for the Pokemon-themed Megazord and Power Rangers? See what I mean? Number 9, Team NT and Ghostbusters. I know this might be considered cheating again, but I really want to see the TMNT Ghostbusters crossover comic adapted into an animated movie. If the TMNT Batman crossover movie could be so awesome, then the Ghostbusters one would be just as awesome. Hell, the TMNT Archie's crossover getting adapted would be just as insane enough to work as well, so why the hell not? Number 8, Garfield U.S. Acres. This just seems like it would have happened. Both were part of Garfield and Friends, both comic strips were made by Jim Davis, and in fact, the farm that U.S. Acres crew live on is owned by John's brother Doc. Talk about lost opportunities! Number 7, Teen Titans and Equestria Girls. I know this one seems a bit weird, but hear me out. Like, maybe either Raven practicing magic or Sai Twai doing experiments to learn to scientifically quantify magic accidentally release an interdimensional demon, and as a result, the barrier between dimensions causes the Titans and the Equestria Girls to need to use their powers to restore balance. Hell! Scene of Beast Boy getting the tar beat out of him by Rainbow Dash after he tries to pick up Fluttershy by turning into a kitten or something would make the whole thing worth it. Number 6. Modern Animated Disney I see a lot of artwork depicting a crossover between just about every 2D animated Disney show that isn't Marvel or Star Wars related that was made from Gravity Falls onward. So this is something a lot of people want to have happen, so I'm giving Modern Disney his own slot right here. Number 5, Juniper Lee and American Dragon. This is here because both shows are just so similar. One is a human defending the magical world and helps keep it a secret, and the other is about a dragon who defends the magical world and helps keep it a secret. Just have a villain cast a dimensional rift spell and there you go, instant crossover. Number 4, American Dad and Family Guy. Both shows are created by Seth MacFarlane, both are comedies, and thanks to the ending clip from American Dad you are currently watching on screen, they are officially taking place in the same universe. And no, Peter's dream sequence about who moves into Cleveland's house during his brief spinoff from that one episode where Brian and Stewie end up helping Chevy Chase and Dan Aykroyd, stop a Russian operative from blowing up America and all those cameo jokes do not count. You can delete your comment now. 
Number three, Mario and Sonic. I want a Mario Sonic crossover game. And by crossover game, I mean where they team up to beat up Bowser and Robotnik who themselves have teamed up or a new villain of some kind. Not a lazily slapped together mini game compilation trying to pass itself off as an Olympics game. Number two, regular show and gumball. Here at number two, we have a regular show Gumball crossover. Both shows, while very different, have this habit of having everything go to chaos at the drop of a hat that just seems like it would work well together. Number one, Chowder and Jellystone. Both Chowder and Jellystone have a lot in common. They basically use the same type of humor, a really similar art style, and the fact that the creator of Chowder, T.H. Greenblatt, was the man in charge of rebooting Yogi Bear, Huckleberry Hound, and all those other Hanna-Barbera characters from the 50s through the early 80s into Jellystone, and unlike a lot of the properties on this list, both are owned by the same people, so actually has a high probability of actually happening. It just makes too much sense. Anywho, I'd like to take a brief moment to thank all the various artists who allowed me to use their artwork in this video whose names you are seeing on screen and put a special mention to Kizuna Kun on Pinterest who drew the Megazord because I had no clue how to get in touch with them so I'm going to ask for forgiveness and loop permission and linking their Pinterest page in the description. I'm the Wallace Cloud, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. See you next time and stay fresh cheese bags. Oh!